everybody Sub. on the internet. Yeah. Down um. the fiber optic tubes, <laughs> copper to the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Other broadband sure. terminology. Megabytes. Mega mega bite thing. Mega mega bite. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome along to the stream. Uh, what are we playing, Ellen? We are playing Doom. Doom. 2016's Doom, now Doom. out on 2017's Switch. <gasps> so, oh my gosh. Oh my uh, gosh. What, what, what we've got the gameplay that we will be playing today is running off my Switch. We're using a Pro Controller. Um, I had a little go uh, on it with the side controllers last night. Oh yeah. It was, oh, it was pretty good. It was pretty yeah. good. Okay. And, uh, All right. We're going to start a new game. And so what you're saying is... We were doing pretty good with the regular controllers, but now we got the pro controller. We're gonna be You're about pros. to really uh, <laughs> see something special, guys. Listen, you, you might want to sit down for this, is all we're saying. I'm just saying, is it because I played it in handheld mode and it was cool to play Doom in handheld? That, yeah, that is. That That's is what cool. I was saying. Cool. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I think we're going to do great. We're going to do great. Um, gonna do great. And uh, over in right. uh, chat corner, we've yeah. got Hello. Jane and Mike. Hi. We've been eating caramel M and M's in the break, M &M. so we're all good. hopped up on sugar and ready to go. E numbers num num yeah. coming out of every pore. We're gonna massively crash about halfway through yeah. the stream. Just we're gonna have a little out. nap, <laughs> and then we're gonna wake up again. Yeah, yeah. You can watch us nap though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get let's let's campaign. Yeah. So okay. while you load up, we've oh. got five new sponsors already. Hey. Gosh, wow. Caitlin RC, long time commenter yeah. on the channel, as well as Dev Dave says words. Words. Welcome, Dave. Sup. Over Hero, welcome aboard. Sup. Thank you. Scoop Moose, excellent <laughs> name there. And Crimson Rogue 97. Lovely. Thank you very yeah. much. Cheers. Do you think Thanks, they're guys. called 97 because they were born in 97? Because if, if that's true, I feel old. Oh, no, nonsense. You can have conversations now with people who were born in 2017. Who were born after. <laughs> they're extremely <laughs> advanced. <laughs> oh. Oh wait! Next year they'll be adults. They'll be adults. They'll be Whoa. yeah. There'll be Next nothing year. they can't do except yeah. drink in America. Millennium babies. And adopt Millennium children. Adult babies. Mm. All right. Otherwise, Difficulty wise, Ellen. I, I think hurt, hurt me, me plenty. plenty. Hurt it's, me. Let's uh, do it. Kind of the average balance of focus and aggression. That's us. That is us. Mm. <laughs> well, yes, that's what I think of when I think of you guys. A balance, balance of focus, focus and aggression. And aggression. <laughs> A perfect balance, though. Right. Welcome to Mars. Nobody would have believed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Luke's gone War of the Worlds again. <laughs> the chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one. Da -da -dun. But still da they come. Da -da -da. Let's just do this for an hour and a half. Da -da -da. <laughs> well, we've got to do something while it's loading. Mm -hmm. That's true, actually. Man. Sponsor the Plankfish says, Welcome to Hell Mars. Woo! Yeah. Hell Mars! Yeah. My favourite kind of Mars. Way better than regular Mars. Do you want to hear about some new sponsors? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we've got um, Red Shadow 120. <gasps> Thank you, Red Shadow. Neil, Nile? Niall Ni Walsh. Niall yeah. Walsh, that's Niall it. Walsh. Douglas cool. Sneed. And um, also, it's to Danny Boy says, Oh dear Lord, we're doomed. Doomed. Now I wouldn't say that, guys. We're on this. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, oh look, we're we starting go. just like oh. uh, this reminds me oh. of another game. <laughs> hey, I'm not going now. Wake up, nude and manacled oh, to a sarcophagus. Oh, yeah. oh this Smash. happens all the time. Too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We've all woken up in this situation, haven't we? Yeah. After a night out. <laughs> uh, just as you get started, Leonardo Veronese says, "Hey ya." I think that's Veronese, hey, uh, like someone might from be Italian. Verona, maybe. Veronese, yeah. yeah. Sorry about my horrible butchering that's of that. Right. We'll be doing that all stream, butchering people's yes. names. Yeah, it's nothing personal. Promise. Rip and tear. <laughs> Rip and tear. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. So now I've got a special thing with my gun now. Nice. Right. Yeah, good, I good, think good. I can do it. Oh, not yet. Not yet. It's not, not yet. Not yet. yet. Okay. What, yeah. Well, I tell you what, let's role play it as if we've not seen this game before. Where are we? Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's going on? Ah. We, who, who are we? Ah, Candles. Look it looks like someone's tried to romance us or yeah. something. Like someone set up like a romantic date night. Seriously, who is it in video games that like lights candles everywhere? Yeah. I, re I remember in um, playing Far Cry 4 and Jägen, <laughs> it was like, Jägen, uh, Pagan Min was like, who, who lights all those candles? You see, like when oh, he yeah, phones yeah. you up, he was like, who's the person that does this? <laughs> I don't understand. This? I was like, nah, it's weird. You bizarre, you're really doing here we go, here we go. Ah, maybe, oh. may, maybe, maybe answers now. Ooh, okay. So it looks mm. like, it looks like everyone was worshipping us. 
or trying to or praying to us. We have to maybe. contain this. We have to contain this. Contain this. Oh, let's turn subtitles on. Oh yes, that is a that is a good point. Settings. No, I keep pressing backwards. <laughs> PlayStation controls. Yeah. Xbox and PlayStation. See, select on the Xbox and the PlayStation is both the bottom button, no matter what one it is. Yeah. Switch. Not so the Switch. It's a bit confusing. Uh, uh, video. No. Audio. Uh, while you guys tinker around with that, uh, yeah. we have a comment from Ethan Lappin. Who wants to know who would be the ultimate winner in a battle royale style showdown, and what would be each of your preferred weapons? You mean like between uh, Ellen and I? I, I su suspect they mean uh, the whole crew. Oh, the whole crew. Five of us. Oh, do you know what? I would choose a frying pan, like entangled. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that was that was one of the weapons in battle royale, right? Yeah, yeah. Um. And we'll see how that does against Mike's AK forty seven. <laughs> yeah. Twin Uzis. It'll do, yeah. it'll do great. I'll just grenade I'll, launcher. <laughs> I'll be deflecting the bullets like it's a lightsaber. Yeah. I think Jane would probably win. Definitely yeah. above. Yeah. I reckon. Twin hammers. Oh, if I can have an F fourteen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I don't think that's an acceptable you, weapon. Yeah. yeah. It's probably something you get in a backpack. You okay. Start, oh, like okay. F fourteen in a. The thing is, like, guns only useful if you're familiar with guns. Like, if you that's don't true. shoot guns, having an AK is probably is not going to help like, you. Yeah. yeah. That applies to every weapon, though, and having a gun is probably mm. the easiest one to work with no prior Just knowledge. like juggernaut armour. Yeah. Just like a full-on juggernaut, juggernaut suit so you can suits. wait it out. Yeah, exactly. With those, um, they're kind of on trend at the moment in sci-fi. Those like pneumatic punching arms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Rock'em, sock'em, robot sort yeah. of. Yeah. You have to get pretty close to yeah. uh, deploy that though, don't you? Uh, Jess Boyle says, hey, you're from Australia. 3 a.m. here. Whoa. Whoa. Thank, Whoa. You Thank you for a great much. end to the night. So I'm imagining that she's just Been in out. from a yeah. real big night Walkers out. Party. Walking a yeah. Watching a live stream yeah. from Oxtra. Yeah. Good way to unwind. it up. Yeah. yeah. We are the sort of equivalent of what do you do when you get in from a night out? Sort of microwave some macaroni. <laughs> watch, open, yeah. watch Open University. <laughs> watch Open University. Yeah. Just to calm down. <laughs> also, Joy Fetters is a new sponsor. Hey. We know Joy. Hey, Joy. Remember Joy from Twitter. And Mr. Dude Shut Up123, who we had in the last uh, stream, hey, uh, says, Dude. What is your most disappointing game besides Alien Colonial Marines? Mine is Brink. Oh, mm. most oh. disappointing. What, Brink what one. let you down? Yeah. Brink was like one. fundamentally decent, but it only really worked as a multiplayer game. Like as a single player game, it was really boring. So, mm. yeah, I can see why you might be disappointed by that. Aliens: Clone Marines was extremely disappointing. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. That was yeah. a shame. Yeah. You've got a combat shot. I don't tend to remember the bad games. No, you I forget tend to remember about the those. Good it's surprisingly yeah. hard to remember. I like. You'd have to... Yeah, I could think of a lot of ones that were like better than I was expecting. Now. Because they're memorable. Yeah, because mm. they're memorable. Yeah. Your mind just hopefully deletes all the rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pyman 7373 says, I love you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, some love from Pyman. Love uh, that guy you know, 257, is a new sponsor. So, oh, thank you welcome very much. aboard. Wonder if Apparently, it is a guy you know, know him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Doing some oh, games. That guy. That guy. Is also a new sponsor. Oh, thank you very welcome much. Doing some games. Oh, and Puff Puff Adder says, I see a link to another game. And don't know what that comment's about. <laughs> little in joke there for you. Uh, 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 what else we got? What else we got? Um, Tough Talk says, "What a shame! There are no spiders on Hell Mars. Are there definitely no spiders? <sighs> One of those spider brain enemies, but they don't really look. They're like They're not spiders. very spidery. They've, yeah. they've got kind of robot legs and a smiley yeah. face. Yeah, they're a bit roboty. Ellen, how do you feel about robot spiders? Um, given the choice, like you'd prefer actually. not to have robot spiders. Presumably. Rip and tear, or care and share? <laughs> <laughs> Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Okay." <laughs> It's always rip and tear. Always rip and tear with you. Ah, low health. Oh no. Uh, well, it's that, not that low. That Game girl Carly. That girl Carly says, so happy I could catch this. I missed the Oxbox stream. Has Luke seen the video of Woody and Buzz replacing Link and his glider in Breath of the Wild? What? No. That's that sounds That's incredible. Yeah. That's, that's All right, we'll have to we'll have to find that. Up my alley. This isn't yeah. flying, it's falling with style, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, that sounds really good. I would love to see that. Oh, a nice glory kill. Yeah, I'm you... really enjoying the glory I don't kills. understand this off. comment from Lewis Cat, who says, Biker Mice from Mars also. Hi, everyone. Biker Mice from Mars? Yeah. Do I remember Biker Mice from Mars. No, I know what it is, but oh, yeah, is that yeah. a reference to Doom? Oh, no. Oh, well, it's on Mars. Well, yeah, maybe they, it is on Mars. they're suggesting that we'll meet the Biker Mice from Mars. Oh, maybe. During uh, the course yeah. of the stream. Yeah, so. yeah, in the later levels of Doom, you get to meet the Biker Mice from Mars yep. <laughs> and Matt Damon's character from The Martian. <laughs> the Martian, yeah. Uh, and also right. Richard Burton in War of the Worlds. <laughs> he, was he on Mars during that monologue? Yeah, how else could he have done the commentary, Mike? That's Think true. about it. <laughs> how else would he know that they were drawing their plans against us? Exactly. <laughs> 
inscrutable. It all makes sense. Demonic presence is at unsafe levels, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> it's an acceptable, <laughs> acceptable background <laughs> level of demonic presence. I love that that is not like anything other than zero. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Get your head smashed in, you nasty demon. <laughs> Have some of that. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? That was very polite. Why? I don't know, it's just very British. <laughs> Doom yeah. guy could be British. Get your head smashed in, you nasty you demon. You nasty demon. <laughs> you big rascal. <laughs> yeah, rascal. You vile rapscallion. <laughs> nice. Hoovering up the collectibles. Oh, it's Mr. Hologram. <laughs> Olivia oh. Pierce. Oh, Olivia Pierce. He'd ruin everything, oh, really. Here we really, go. This is, I, this is, oh, this is, this, I love this bit. <laughs> Can we just enjoy the, yes. enjoy the music it's here? so good. <laughs> Ellen's preparing. Ready? Getting hyped. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> Rip and tear! <laughs> Such butt rock. That's a very strong opening. <laughs> so good. Wait, ba -bow, ba -bow. Yeah! yeah. Oh, <laughs> get out awesome. there, Ellen! Storm no. <laughs> Somehow I've never seen that before, and that is awesome. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, like, 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 yeah. Pops the shotgun die now. right in time with the with the music. Yeah. yeah. Dead end. Um, we've got a comment from T. Barella who says, Hi from Colorado, first live stream I've managed to catch live. So excited. I love the channels you guys always manage to brighten my day. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and Joy Fetters says, Morning from Oregon. You guys in Oxbox, the best start to my best day, along with... Drinking human sadness, aka coffee, according to Ellen. Is coffee human sadness, Ellen? I think I might have said that yeah. on the internet. <laughs> Sounds like something you would say. <laughs> and said a lot oh, of well, hello, on the Oregon. Internet. Hi, Oregon. And Zach Oglesby says, At grad classes, we'll have to watch later, but nice to have something to look forward to. Ooh. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all you do. Well, it's going to be a whole 90 minutes of ripping and or tearing. <laughs> it's, it's the old tear and share. Uh, Whimsical Wordsmith says, Luke Jane, in your Battlefront videos, that's from this week, you guys, yep. um, said, you said Darth Maul had one line, but Jane has referenced Rebels, where Maul is a, vizin, a villain sorry, and has lines. Have you watched it or have you not? If not, you should. I've only watched bits of it. I know Chopper is adorable. Chopper's the sort yes. of like proto R2-D2 yeah. and he's adorable. I did know Maul was in it uh, and I had forgotten that yeah, he's a speaking character in it. I was pretty much drawing on the films there. Mm. All, all I have seen of Star Wars Rebels is yeah. the Darth Maul bits. Oh, right. That was a, a video, big bit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did a video from E3 um, about why it was great to be Darth Maul just yeah. in general. Yeah. Uh, and uh, for that to sort of cover myself with all, yeah. all of the Star Wars aficionados out there. Yeah. I, I was like deep in the wikis and yeah. watching Rebels, like, Rebels, Rebels, yeah. Rebels, Rebels, yeah. Rebels, 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 and just watching little clips on YouTube and yeah. stuff. He gets like spider legs. Yeah. And then he has a yeah. fight with uh, And his lower Obi -Wan. half gets like a spider body or a spider yeah. top or something. And, and he has loads of lines. And he has a brother. He has a secret what? brother. What? I didn't know that. What's his brother his called? Whole, he's got a whole rich inner life. Dark I'm all Paul. about uh, Dark <laughs> Paul. Do you know nice. Chopper though? Chopper's this little orange R2D. I've Extremely only seen a picture, cute. Chopper's yeah. not so. Um, Archie's not so grumpy. He gets gr he gets frustrated with C3PO. I think. Well, who wouldn't, frankly? Yeah. I mean, come on. C3PO doesn't really want to be there or help. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of frustrating. <laughs> oh, that was good, Ellen. Your reflexes are awesome. I like how commenter Parker Murphy here has rendered like the Doom Sting, oh, just yeah. like. Capital letters. Dun, dun, it just dun, is dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Although in my head that's becoming Terminator. Yeah. Oh yeah. It does sound a bit like yeah. It's getting on towards that. Yep. <laughs> the Wraith Dean says hello from Kentucky. Hello, Love Kentucky. you all. Such great work you do here. Oh wow! Thank hmm. you. Question, will there ever be a Let's Play featuring Andy and Ellen playing scary games together? Oh, that is an oft-requested Would they yeah. make any progress or just like... They'd stand in the, like, staring at the wall. Put the controller or gently <laughs> yeah. on the ground and sit Step away. back. Yeah. <laughs> Ellen would turn the flashlight off, which oh. is her signature move. <laughs> <laughs> then they can't see me. Oh. You can't see them. <laughs> That's two bonuses. <laughs> A 
Oh, Dave says words, who is uh, our new sponsor, says, I have a question. What's Thank the you. name of the music you play while reviewing comments on Show of the Weekend? Do oh, you okay. know that, Luke? Okay, we actually get asked uh, about the music a lot. So, yeah, let, let's clear this up. So okay. when, we're, when we're reviewing the comments, yeah. um, basically we use music from uh, YouTube as an audio library. Uh, which is stuff that is some very, very good music on there, and it's copyright free, so if you want to look it up, it's all on YouTube, you can just search for it. Um, uh, although it might be hard to search for with just the name, but... It's, um, it's in the Creator Studio. Yeah, so I think if you go to youtube.com slash audio library, you yeah. get the whole... Oh, okay, yeah. So, uh, the one that's under the, the comments, and yeah. we also use it in uh, the Games of the Month videos, that's called Fun. Uh, so fun.mp3 and the one that is under the beginning and the end of show of the weekend which is the one that's most often requested and I love it it's so good it's called Far Away mm. uh, and it's brilliant I yeah when when we were looking for like what's going to be the music yeah. for a show of the weekend and we found that it was oh it's so nice I think we can show you what the YouTube audio library looks like maybe oh. uh, hey you found a little link I mean uh, what <laughs> it'll, it'll pop up in a couple of seconds and you'll get to see what it looks like. Oh, cool. This is real behind the curtain stuff. Yeah. While that's happening, uh, we've got lots and lots of uh, comments and stuff. Oh, brilliant. Um, oh, Tough Talk says, What a shame there are no spiders on Hell Mars. No, it's a good thing. Uh, Boopaloopy Inc. says, Finally caught a live stream. So happy to see you guys live. Love you guys. Yay. Hey. Thank you. Danny Benson says, You guys rock. And I hope Luke doesn't go into a tangent about Doom Guy being Link. What? How? What are you even on about? <laughs> Doom guy being Link, that's crazy talk. Uh, Ducklin Stark says, this duck has to work, so I'm just stopping by to say quack and to keep up the amazing work. Love you guys. Thank uh, you very much. Black Light Thanks, Ducklin. says, quack, Ellen, quack. I also have severe arachnophobia. I feel you. Also, I'm not even home at the moment. Just wanted to catch this stream. Stro on the go, basically. I actually feel like I understand arachnophobia a lot better since uh, I started this job because... Mm. Just from talking to Ellen about it, and also Jane uh, as well. Like I know you, you're not too keen on spiders either. Like, I who don't. Is? But who is keen on spiders? Keen yeah, spiders? I wouldn't call myself an arachnophobe, totally, like, but I wouldn't want a spider near me. Yeah, really. yeah absolutely. But, um, but yeah, I sort of, I, yeah, I understand it a lot better. And yeah, like it's no joke. Um, yeah, it's it's tough stuff. Yeah, uh, man, spiders. They're weird. All right, Ellen, come on. Yes, dispatched. You're, you're doing this really like cold and clinical, I love it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh. What was that noise? We are looking into what that noise was. <laughs> Here's a, an enigmatic comment from John Crandall. Can we get a shout out for the US Marines? That's how I found you guys. Oh, wow. wow. Um, uh, <laughs> when yes. you were. Hi, US Marines, but also, how Shout did outs. you find us? <laughs> Tracked us oh, down. Gosh, they found us. <laughs> oh, no. That's I... what the noise was. <laughs> the Marines are outside. Windows imploded. With <laughs> door breached. Breach and clear, breach and clear. <laughs> Flashbang, no. If, if the screen seems to fill yeah. with smoke. Then... Yeah, that's what they found us. That's yeah. what's happened. No. Ellen, you are absolutely smashing this. It's amazing. Thank you. It's, it's... really... The combat in this is oh. just... So much fun. It's like glory poetry. Glory, gory poetry. Uh, Voodoo ACR says, so can we get an answer on the uh, Luke and Andy, uh, sorry, the Ellen and Andy scary oh, let's play? What's, it, what's the next like, big horror game that we want to play? Oh, maybe the Resident Evil DLC that's coming out in December? Oh, yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Resi 7 stuff? Oh, yes. That might work. That'll be I VR think, compatible yeah. as well, won't it, Ellen? Ooh. You love that. You oh, love that VR horror. horror. <laughs> yeah. That was great fun. Thanks for that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen's You're actually welcome. forcibly repressed all the <laughs> memories of that, so... Um, for all you know, it really was fun. <laughs> um, contributor G Nee or Gini possibly um, writes the Muppets theme. You know the mana mana that oh, one. Do, 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 do. So if you could man, just there we go. Yeah, sure. Mana mana. Thank you. Mana mana. Yeah, that's no, correct. No, did, did. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to go on forever. You have to tell me to stop. Look what you right, started. That's, that's, There's that's a special code to make you stop. No! <laughs> uh, while you're talking about singing, Carl Croft reckons you should sing the Legend of Zelda chime every time you get a new gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, I idea. like that. Mm -hmm. next, time you, next, nice. time you, next time you get a new gun. Yeah. I got a Predator thing. Oh, an upgrade. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the next one you see, next time it asks you to press, press mm -hmm. in R3, we'll, we'll, we'll sing the chime. David Lathan says, hey guys, it's the cat petter from last time. Smile. Does, hey. Do you remember the cat petter from last time? <laughs> I, um, I'm trying to, I'm racking my brains. Uh, what we It'll come back to time. me. Um, 
I it'll don't know. Come back, it'll come back. I to kind us. of forgot to tell you how much I adore each and every one of you. Today was the last day of my job, and watching your streams is the perfect reconciliation. Keep oh, it up. Oh, oh sorry oh, about man. your job. Yeah. 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 I hope everything's okay. Yeah. yeah. I hope everything's okay there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. Keep keep watching. Thanks yeah, for watching. Keep watching and thanks yeah. for watching. There's something quite um, sort of weirdly meaningful about like a, the last last few hours of a, on a on a job. Yeah. 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 Job I you've ever left. To date, on my Facebook memories, uh, for two years in a row, November 10th is like the day that I discovered that I was going to be doing Christmas shifts at HMV. So I like had two very like upbeat um, things like, yeah, I got my job. And then the next year, yeah, they let me back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they think I'm good. I basically got to help lots of people. Did you have to sell GTA to a lot of like nine year olds? Uh, I had to Didn't disappoint have to. a lot of nine year olds. <laughs> Um, Good. Uh, basically, Good. You, have, you have someone come in their school uniform to try and buy <laughs> Call of Duty, and you're like, mm, uh, no. <laughs> nice try, buddy. Mm. Oh. Uh, yeah. Having to like explain to mothers like what is in GTA. 5. I was like, do you know what's in this game? Or, like <laughs> having to be that person to like ruin the child's Christmas. And they're like, will it keep them quiet? <laughs> then I don't care. Are they having you back this this Christmas, Ellen? HMV? Uh, I think so. If I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> well, the sure offer's always on the table. I'm sure they'd be yeah. very oh. lucky. Oh, careful! Gosh. You nearly fell into a Mars hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have a look at it. Just have a look. Just have a look. A, careful a little look. peek. Whoa. Down the Mars hole. Shoot yeah. it! Shoot it! Yeah, have some of that Mars. <laughs> have water, maybe. Irina Andreev from Sydney says, Hey, from Sydney, it's 3 a.m. Please come to Australia. Like right now, I assume. <laughs> okay, all right. Get on a plane. You can be there by December, by probably. <laughs> 36 yeah. hours. Yeah. Okay, dude. You, you're okay. I don't think they're okay, Ellen. Do you need anything? <laughs> it's kind of you to offer, but I don't um, think they're okay. Um, we would love to come to Australia. I would absolutely love to go. Either. Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. The second it's viable. Yeah, all right. Do the chime. Uh, right. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. So we've okay. got to choose. So right. do we go for oh. the charge burst, where you have three shots go off at once and it's kind of very close together? Okay. Or do you have uh, an explosive shot? Hmm. Um, so dismiss that. So charge burst. Explosive, explosive shot. Explosive shot. Okay. Explosive has Explosions. explosive in it. Okay. Yeah. Let's purchase. Too much reading, not enough doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Prince Evil Regal says, Hey guys, seeing as this is a Bethesda game, if you all lived in the Elder Scrolls series, which deity would you worship and why? Oh, I only man. know the Daedric Prince of Madness. Oh. Yeah, Shagorath. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would definitely be Team Shagorath. Oh. Who's the Who's the trickster one who, who finds you in the pub? Uh, oh. People will tell us in the chat. Is that where you go on the pub crawl? Oh, for is him? it that? It begins with V, right? Maybe? Yeah, maybe. I, don't know. I can't remember, it's going to really bug me. But the one. The, the trickster the, god. The trickster yeah, the daedric. Tricks, the trickster prince god. Or whatever. Ooh. Just. Ooh. That was unpleasant. He just broke his leg off and kicked him in the face with it. Nasty. <laughs> he kicked him in the face with his own leg. Yeah. yeah That's you don't amazing. Wanna, you don't want to go with your own leg. That's not good. Uh, Puff Puff Adder says, what about the horror game with Mads Mikkelsen? R.E. what? That may come out never. Death Stranding. Death Stranding. Death Stranding. Mm. That, that, who knows when that's it's coming out. It's a Kojima out. game, so yeah. we'll all be who knows? grandparents by the yeah. time it comes out. We'll be mm. telling our children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was there oh. when they announced this. Mm. Um, oh, there you are. Ellen, how are you finding the combat? It is so much fun. You are it smashing it. ridiculous fun. Yeah. And it's just so... <laughs> Like, I've, it makes me want to say words like responsive, which is like, <laughs> like, Which you never want to say. No, I'm like, so responsive and really like, mm. oh. You do, it just feels like the action never stops. Like, this is such like, box art. We're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not reading this from a list of bullet points. They've already made the box mm. art, Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say are the three core pillars of <laughs> doing gameplay? It's fun, fun, and fun. Fun, fun, and more fun. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and is it on sale in time for Christmas? That's the <laughs> Smash, smash, smash. Perfect for every child. I love this uh, from no. Pyman73. 73. 73 says, I'm watching you guys from work on top of an eight foot ladder. Wow. Be careful up yeah, there. Yeah, keep your balance. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. And we'll try not to make any loud noises. <laughs> yeah. Or say anything I mean, so funny that you might fall um, off a ladder. Yeah. Not likely. Not, not much danger of that. Uh... Patrick Long says, Coffee Tastes Like Sadness was in an Oxbox stream. That explains that. Irish oh. Batman 87 says, Luke, don't mention Tear and Share. I'm on a diet. I think it was Rip and Tear, not Tear and Share. No, I did say Tear and Share as well. <laughs> oh. Is Irish that not the Doom slogan? Tear, tear and, and Share, share bread. <laughs> tear tearing, tearing Irish tearing Batman is, is called yeah. Domino's, I think. Yeah, yeah. Because of that. Oh, man. Uh, Ethan Lappin wants to know if Ellen's finished AC Origins yet. If so, what oh. do you think of 
That Shadia scene? No. I don't know what that means. I'm not. I'm not. I'm There's a Shadia scene, apparently. Maybe spoilers. Um, uh, have you finished it, Ellen? No. Uh, I'm hardly you scratch the surface of this <laughs> game. Is that because you keep putting Bayek on top of statues to pose him like the eagle? Yes. Yeah, right, well. That explains that. That's valuable use of your time as well. And Marina Andre follows up, yes, I did mean right now, what's a 36 hour flight? But seriously, yes, you should come along to Comic Con next year. So that's something to. Something's put in the calendar. Aspire to. The, the second it is viable. I've we, never been to Australia. Ah, be oh, Australia. <gasps> that's what we could call it. The what, Australia. The country. <laughs> <laughs> They've already got a name. <laughs> but that's what we could call the tour. <laughs> yeah. I've got lots and lots of comments to get through here. Oh, yeah. So, uh, let's, let's hear them. Let's go quickly. Jet Set Radio 01. Ellen and anyone else, favourite RWBY character? What is. Ruby. Okay. Um, some people uh, have been okay. freaking out wonderfully in the comments because they've seen me wearing some Ruby t shirts in Show of the Weekend. Okay. Um, Ruby is the uh, anime show, like anime style show that uh, Rooster Teeth make. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it's brilliant. It's a brilliant little show. Um, uh, m my favourite is Ruby because okay. she basically has the same haircut that I used to have uh, oh. when I was like younger and also... Um... Oh, are we dying? <laughs> oh, are we dying? Live from checkpoint. Um, yeah, okay. Do you what want to the... go while I answer? Yeah. Uh, do you know what, uh, what are the buttons? What are the buttons? <laughs> what are the buttons? <laughs> uh, so that's like to use the charge shots. Okay. That's to shoot, shoot as to shoot. usual. Uh, I'll, I'll be at the top art is to switch weapons cool. and then like jump and jump. all that sort of stuff. And where's my glory kills on the trigger, yes. on the stick, on the stick. And it's when, all right, you, I'm there. It's when they kind of flash blue when and then the... when you get close enough and they go yeah. orange, that's when you can do it. I'm there, um, cool. Uh, you said you had a lot of comments to get to, Michael. Yes. Told you. Uh, so, um, Frodo Baggins says Doom is basically what would happen if Jane ever went to Mars. Possible. Uh, Ast astronaut Jane may go to Mars. She's done uh, the training, right? My Mars would yeah. be a lot nicer. <laughs> also, can Luke do his Yoda slash Trash Kermit impression again? <laughs> Difficult to do, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so, uh, Julia Schwartz says, having a sick day, this is the best medicine, no medical opinion needed. Thanks, guys. Um, Feel Patrick better to everyone out there who's not feeling very well at the moment and is watching hmm. yeah. from their plague pits. Patrick Long says, most of my understanding of the Oxbox crew is by the Hitman vids. That's because they're very representative of our personalities. Mm -hmm. Can we watch Oxtra play it with the same sort of idiosyncratic commentary? Hmm. Oxtra, oh. would you ever play Hitman? Yeah, I'd play Hitman. I uh, beat Andy score on one of the levels. Oh, what? No way. Did you? I hope you, I hope you beat that. Well, basically, I went, that? I went to do some uh, capture for Hitman uh, for one of our lists. Yeah. And... I ended up playing the whole game. <laughs> so, like, I did some catcher on the Friday, and then on the Sunday afternoon, I was like, this is more than yeah. <laughs> so, It is very cool, and they've just released a bunch really of new good. stuff for yeah. it as well. Slow down here, look. Yeah, oh, no! A lot of enemies. It's really helping me, though, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. Max Payne. I wonder if the game's doing it on purpose to it help me out. It might be. I don't know. I've not played it on console, so do correct us in the comments if not. No, I don't think it Has anyone heard of a game called One Shot? Asks. Asks uh, over hero in the chat. Uh, One that's shot, that's Isabel. Yeah. But, uh, mm. They uh, recommend know. it, even though it will break your hearts into dust. Oh, wow. oh, so that's gosh. quite the recommendation. Is it the sort of one shot where you only have one chance and it's permadeath and oh god? Do you guys find that it's we uh, really hard to recommend things that are sad? Because you watch something that's sad, yeah. and you're like, that was excellent and it was really really sad, but it's sure. totally worth it, even though it was heartbreaking. Yeah. But then it's hard to recommend because you're like oh it's really sad it'll make you feel terrible it'll ruin yeah. your day yeah and people yeah, don't want to so. watch that you have to yeah. sort of be tricked into it there's you know? like an excellent horror film um which i can't remember what it's called off the top of my head but it's like one of the best horror films i've ever watched because it's about like the horror of people in general and oh it, gosh. it whenever i think of it i get a bit upset because it's, wow. it's so well done oh, but it's like it's brilliant like it's as a work of art it's brilliant and i thoroughly recommend but I thoroughly out. recommend this horror movie about the <laughs> horror people. Yeah, I feel um, the same way about the orphanage. Have you seen the orphanage? Oh my gosh, yes! That's an incredible horror film. That is and an incredible. It it just left me feeling completely hollow at the end. Yeah, of it. yeah. And I want to tell everyone to watch it, but I'm like, this will ruin your day. That um, is absolutely brutal. It is very. Oh, oh no 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 no! That is very frightening film. Mm. Uh, mm. And it has an incredible ending. Mm. It's very cool. 
Um, more comments. Uh, yep. bring him in. Luca Giancola says, "What was your favourite school subject?" Oh, good question. Uh, I always used to enjoy history. History. Uh, I didn't take it any further than regular school. Uh, I quite like French. Uh, I did. I was not good at any sciences or any maths. <laughs> None of the hard ones. Um, I like science and maths. <laughs> oh, so you've well, you're the perfect off team. All the subjects yeah, between yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've got it covered was, between us. French scared me. Oh. I, was, I was always. I'm. I'm just so worried about making a faux pas, social faux pas. By speaking French incorrectly, which is quite funny that it's called. Uh, it's Opa. pronounced Fox uh, Pass, actually, <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> Can't believe you said that. I was that. told in my uh, GCSE oral exam by my French teacher, who is actually French, that my accent was very good, though. So oh, I was not like, bad. Uh, oh, that's good. I was quite no. pleased. Um, even though she terrified me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, um, I went in all like computers. Like, I did IT, ICT, GCSE when it was like first kind of becoming a thing, and then I did A level computing. Um, which was really interesting. Which really hmm. cool. I've got properly lost here. Uh -oh. I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh no! I'm probably Turn going around, towards Luke. these orange bits, right? Ah! What's the shiny bit? Uh, <laughs> head to the shiny, shiny bit. Shiny. Go to the light. Head towards the light. Objective. Yeah. You want to head towards the. Oh, the yellow the thing. Oh well, that's. Oh no, I'm going no, the right no, way no. then. Yeah, you want to go to the the. Yeah, and that's me, and I'm pointing that way. So I want to go over there. So I'm going. High the right rolling way. Well commenter and contributor, Home Shop Automation oh, says, yeah. "I just wanted to say that Andy, Mike, and Jane have excellent taste in hosts for the new channel. Keep up the great work." Oh, oh thank you very much. So very that's nice. like a compliment to everyone at yeah, once. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is you guys are good. Um, We're good for top comment work R &D, there. I guess. Home Best Shop. Kind of compliment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's to Danny Boy in reference to Halloween says I need to let Mike know that my laptop is now fully recovered from the pie accident at Halloween I will Hooray. not press charges okay. what was the pie ah. accident Mike? I think it's to Danny Boy dropped pie on his laptop because uh, of you? But I, I don't did know did you make him laugh so hard he dropped pie? Maybe. I think it was something like that maybe yeah well I he's think not pressing a... charges so well that's good be thankful for that I got stuck here last night what else have we got How, right, Howard okay. Gleason says random game attack raid of one bleed purple have fun no idea what that means it's probably a cheat code they're trying uh, to hack yeah. Hat the live stream. Uh, oh, Lloyd no. says spreadsheets oh, no. are boring. Live streams are fun. Thanks for Yay. making my workday more amusing. Greetings from St. Paul, Minnesota. Ah, nice. Hello, nice. Minnesota. Yeah. Raph Bartholomew says they're watching you play Doom while I can hear ABBA on the radio upstairs. It's weird. Oh, amazing. Please awesome. tell me what song because I, I really love ABBA. <laughs> Doom yeah. is a super trooper. Yeah, he is. Uh, uh, that makes sense, actually. Yeah. Gonna find uh, he also wants to know if anyone has any tattoos. Oh, no. Uh, no, I don't actually. No, I think we are all I've always wanted to get one, but it's, it's that thing of not really knowing what to get, and then also they're expensive. So I have like, such a short attention span. If I got something drawn onto my body, I'd be immediately bored of it within like a week. Yeah, what you've got to do, uh, and then I'd be I, furious. I was told uh, by a tattoo artist uh, what you need to do <laughs> is... get more tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's tattoo part. Here's a discount, 10%. Is, no, you, you draw the design and you put it somewhere that you can see it every single day. Oh, so okay. not on you. Like on your body. <laughs> <laughs> But like you put it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but like you see it somewhere that you glance. So if you work at your desk at work or something like that. So if you're bored, not bored of the de design, and if you just still like it even more, hmm. that's a good idea. Then maybe that's. Hmm. But yeah. don't just don't just go. Or just pick an image that you're already that. seeing every day and yeah. not sick of. Like I don't know. Uh, something you've got on your wall, Oxbox like a giant logo. canvas. Oh yeah, the, don't, the don't, Austria don't, logo. Don't suggest people get the Austria <laughs> no, logo. Get that. Don't, <laughs> don't get that logo. Um, maybe like. Uh, there are some good symbols out there that I must have seen a lot. Like, you know, the first A symbol. I must have seen that a lot. <laughs> what, the plus? The plus <laughs> sign? It was, the, just, it was just the first iconic Aww. thing I could think of. I met someone who got the, the Time Tribals? Team logo on their shoulder because they liked the logo. Um, which is a bit, Did they bit like strange. Time Team? I don't know if they like Time <laughs> just Team. Just the logo. I actually really <laughs> dislike Time Team. I could see you Luke, with like a dinosaur skeleton tattoo. Oh, like, yeah. oh, that'd be quite cool. Archaeopteryx. Yeah. Yeah. Archaeopteryx tattoo across your back. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Archaeopteryx yeah. fossil is Ooh. very iconic Ooh, fossil. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if we can get a picture of it. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, how do you spell it? Oh <laughs> yeah. no! Don't oh, even ask. No. Google, uh, Google knows. Just mash the keypad. Google. Knows. <laughs> Jimmy from Loading Bar is, is manning our stream at the moment. We are at Loading Bar in Dalston yes. at the moment. Yes. Oh my god! Um, so Perfect thank... spelling of Archaeopteryx. Amazing. Wow. He's working yeah. on that at the moment. Meanwhile, um, Ethan Lapping wants to know which video game protagonists are your spirit animals? Oh, Explosion Man question. probably is mine. Oh, video um, game protagonist. Uh. Um, oh, maybe. Uh, I think uh, the thing that 
puts me off lots of video game protagonists is that I think that they must be quite lonely. Because, like, Doomguy must be lonely. Yeah. Samus and Link and even Mario, like, mm. is quite lonely. You could be one of the guys like... from Army of Two. They've always got a buddy with them. Yeah. Or, like, Max <laughs> from Life is Strange. Oh, yeah. She's always, you know, oh. hanging out with people. She's so. a bit soppy to... <laughs> be a spirit animal. Well, I'm quite sorry, James. Chloe! Chloe's a good spirit oh, animal oh, from Life is Strange. Oh, badass. I oh, think yeah. you want her to, you know, inspire you. Or like, um, Gladys from Portal. <laughs> like, oh, a murderous <laughs> computer! <laughs> Completely devoid of emotion. She yeah. is sassy! You need a animal. sassy spirit well, animal. Every, everything I thought yeah. about you, Jane, has come you true. You need someone with a, <laughs> something with a bit of, like, something going on, not just, you know, not just... <laughs> okay. The thing with, like, game sure. protagonists... Nerve gas. The thing is, with, with game protagonists, quite often they're the sort of cypher. They're, they're there to represent you, so it's quite yeah. hard for something that's like a blank canvas that's, that's there to represent you to also be your spirit yeah. animal. You yeah, know? that's true. I yeah. wish my spirit animal was Nathan Drake. Oh, he's so cool. Uncharted. He's got sass. See, you need sass. So sass. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I need. Sweet, mm. sweet sass. Uh, Peter Stockwell says he seconds the idea of Oxford doing two ways to play Hitman. So I guess get on that, guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tough Talk wants Ellen to do her, her best Aussie accent, please. Oh, no. Please don't offend the entire oh, country no. of Australia. so much pressure. Okay, bear in mind, we were asked. Yeah, we were asked. This is but also asked to not offend. Many years of watching <laughs> Neighbours. Oh, God. Right. Okay, give me a sentence to say. And then Just say good day, maybe. G'day, mate. Hello, I'm from Australia. And she's That's not too bad. That's not um, too bad. <laughs> I hear that you guys really don't like drinking Fosters. Uh, we've got a whole stop her, stop her, campaign quick. over here. And it, well, I had lots of like Australian teachers and stuff when I was growing up. Let it well because in London there is a huge uh, Australian population, and it's great. And uh, actual so Australians tell us how that was. So yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Random oh, username no, 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 for Chris no, no. says. My accent was good. <laughs> <laughs> Random username for Chris says, how many subs for Jane to dye her hair green or Andy become the little record pirate Greenbeard? Oh, well, Andy's not oh, here, so I will I'm, pledge him to I dye his hair yeah. green. Oh, purple, so everyone's like, now Jane should dye her hair. Right. I think Andy should dye his beard green on 4 million subscribers. Let's not make it 3, because... Yeah, uh, we're we're going to have to break the news to Andy gradually that he has to dye his beard green. <laughs> But also, I suppose we are hoping to eventually get there. Yeah, maybe. well, exactly. But it will give me like a little bit of time to, to tell break him the news that he has to, to do it. Cool. Yeah. Or die it in his sleep or something. Um, <laughs> That's the other option. Oh, Reckless Rex says, I'm not even into Doom. I'm just watching because I love you guys. All five of you tell Andy. Aww. Hopefully Andy's... Do you think Andy's watching on his holiday right now? No. Oh, if he is. <laughs> he wants to be as far away <laughs> as possible Andy, from me. Say hi. If watching, then you can Andy. probably comment as outside Xbox. So. Oh, oh, That's true, yeah. That's true. If you're, if you're Andy, there, if you're Andy. watching, leave a comment as outside Xbox. Yeah. If you're there, yeah. do the ghost emoji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knock three Ooh. times if you're there, Andy. He's on holiday. I don't think he's probably watching the live stream. He's probably... I imagine he's jet skiing right now. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe that would be the life appropriate. Of I think he's in the Cotswold, so I imagine he's jet skiing in the Cotswold. Freezing cold jet skiing. <laughs> uh, Jeannie says, I just wanted to say you make some great videos that always cheer me up at the end of a bad day. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, thank you for saying that. Thank you. Uh, Happy to help with the cheering. Blacklight says, can I just befriend all of you also if you'd like, I like to I can compose music just for your shows if you want me to. Mm. That's quite oh, the man. offer. Mm. Um, that is a very kind offer, although uh, the YouTube audio library is pretty comprehensive. Stiff, comp stiff competition, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Patrick Long says Hitman apparently br really brings out a personality. That sounds like he means when he, someone gets shot in the head, their personality all spills out of their brain. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's weird. <laughs> is that the case? Uh, Sean McCurl says this came on right as I was sent from work for being sick and this is the first stream I've managed to catch live. Nice, hello. Um, hello. Sick, we get it. Yeah, this is, mm. No, oh, I'm so sure nice. you are and I'm glad you're recovering at home watching a nice live stream. So. Yeah. Watch me strafe in this guy's bullets, making him look so foolish. Yeah. Oh, uh, Raph Whoa, Bartholomew wow, says it was it was SOS. Uh, it was SOS. The Abba song. Oh, S cool. So if you need yeah. A What's your favourite Abba song? Also. Oh, 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 good question. Quite the question there. Okay, um, <laughs> I really like. It changes like month to month, uh, but at the moment I'm kind of into name of the game. Um, it's the name of the game. Yeah. Doesn't mean anything to you. That one. Oh, yeah, that was really good. Uh, money, money, money. That's classic. I really like that one. I like Dancing Queen because uh, inside, classic. I'm a Dancing Queen. You Luke, are. Luke and, and I were in Stockholm for Battlefront 2. That's where Dice, the developer, is, and mm. we found out there's an ABBA museum nearby, and we're like, we could just 
go and just, yeah. no, no, we must play Battlefront. Oh, is it? No, it's much <laughs> you more. You guys important. are lucky that you have as yeah. much Battlefront gameplay because we nearly <laughs> went to the ABBA Museum. It could have been gameplay from inside the ABBA Museum, <laughs> which is probably like pressing a little light up display to find out more about Benny and Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, I was. I stayed in a hotel owned by I think Benny from ABBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and it I had a copy before. of ABBA Gold in the in every room. There's a copy, <laughs> there's a copy of ABBA Rebel. Gold in every British home and car and <laughs> oh, <wow>. government issued <laughs> copy. I think it's the second uh, best-selling album ever, ABBA Gold, behind I think really? uh, Queen's Best of. Really? The first, best Queen's Best wow. of. Album. Uh, the first Queen Best of album's amazing. It's as incredible. Well. Yeah, and Absolutely what's really awesome. amazing is that they recorded. Uh, they they did that best of halfway through their career, like really? they hadn't even done half of their most famous songs. Yeah, wow. there is a volume two, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Some self assurance. Mm. I know. Uh, Paul McKell says, when I saw Jane and Alan's video, a uh, video ACO video, so the Assassin's Creed Origins video, I promised myself I'd ignore the cats. Yet I'm still, I'm still near the start petting cats priorities. <laughs> so they're getting their money's worth. It's just like a really high, high definition cat petting mm. simulator. So you can't say fairer than that. Scoop Moose says, Ack, this is the first time catching your live stream and I keep forgetting I can't just pause it to go get a snack. I mean, you oh, can man. pause it, but you'll just be behind. Yeah. Hey, Ellen. And you won't see Ooh. this comment until ages later. Do -do 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 oh, this is a good bit as well, isn't it? Oh. It's always a good bit when you get hold of a chainsaw in any game. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. Chainsaw some things. Yeah. It worked. The chainsaw worked. <laughs> you also be chainsawed. Yeah. Oh, oh no no you're oh. explosive. No 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 no. Oh it's fine. You survived. Yeah I did. Totally on purpose. Yeah. Oh you're you're exploding as well. And we have a new sponsor, Josh Pierini. Thank Pierini. You, Josh. And Caitlin RC is back, and oh. she says. Hey, what did she say? Hang on, I've lost, lost she her. She says, hey guys, my three year anniversary of watching your channels and I wanted to say thank you guys for all the joy you brought to my life in dark times. Smiley face. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with us. Yeah. yeah. We're glad uh, that we can bring a smile to some people's faces in video game form. Yeah. <laughs> in the best form there is video game form. New sponsor, True Lord of Netu. Nice. Yep. Sounds pretty cool. And I make food happens back to say, glad to finally make it to a live stream. Luke and Ellen, you are both so gosh darn charming. And in Aww. my opinion, one of the best presenting teams I've seen. Oh, go on. Only one of. That means we could still oh, be yeah. in the running as well, there's, right? Th yeah, there's you guys, Ant and Deck, Dick and Dom, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Time Team Gang. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and then all of us. Yeah. Pyman seventy three seventy three says I'm gonna get an Oxbox slash Oxtra tattoo now. Oh no. Crying laughing face. Think very oh, hard you're just about teasing it, us. Is what I'd say. Yeah. yeah. New sponsor Patrick Long. That sounds familiar. That, yeah. I think that's a sponsor. Uh, he's a sponsor on outside Xbox. Yes. As well. Yeah. And definitely a comment. Double Thank sponsor. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Oh, I'm out of chainsaw ammo. Uh, chainsaw Megatron ammo? says, Hi everyone, I'm glad I accidentally missed my welding class. So now I can Whoa. watch you guys. Are you building a Megatron? But what about in your the welding, welding class? Yeah. Are you welding together a Megatron? If so, think about what you're doing. Megatron's question is, uh, would you guys go into a building you knew was haunted? I mean, not for no reason. Would we go into a building we that know was haunted? is haunted? What level of haunting are we talking about? Because, like, if it's one of those ones where the door's locked behind you, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you sleep in a mansion overnight, that, uh, one that was haunted, in order to inherit it in that sort of tropey style? I mean, do you really yeah. want it if it's haunted? I, I mean, it's a mansion it. in, in London. It, I mean, if it was in London, you'd have to. Yeah. <laughs> Property prices. So one being night in a. Well, I mean, the assumption is if it's haunted, but we're going to inherit it, then yeah. we will survive the night. Right? Uh, no, 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 uh, but I mean, you've been willed it in a last will and testament. Do you right. know what? Yeah. I actually wouldn't. You wouldn't. I wouldn't. If I knew, uh, like, yeah. I, mean, I don't really believe in ghosts. No, if, honest, if ghosts were real if and ghosts, the house was haunted. If ghosts were real and yeah. I knew the house was haunted, yeah. then I'd be like, no, it's full of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. I mean, like, the ghosts might kill me. I might yeah. become a ghost. Yeah. I imagine the ghosts would pay anything to not be ghosts. Yeah. So I think I would do... Smart, smart, yep. the smart, boring thing, and just stay <laughs> home and, and watch the BBC News. <laughs> <laughs> the BBC. Uh, the BBC News. This is the voice of the BBC. Other news are available. Ah, here's the demons. Ah, yeah. oh, here are the here demons. Here you are, Ellen. Hey, name, name this demon. 
Simon. Oh, now I can't shoot him. <laughs> oh. I'll shoot all the others. Shoot I'll his keep, friends. I'll keep Demon. I'll keep Demon Simon alive, oh. even though he's properly about to kill me. No, a new Simon. sponsor, Gleb Dovzhenko. I hope I pronounced wow. that not too inc incorrectly. Oh, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Simon. Simon, You're going to have to end his suffering. I don't want to, no. It's suffering, Luke. End it. No, he looks like he's having a nice time. Just no. <laughs> he's suffering. <laughs> oh, can I open this door without killing Simon? Oh, I think I can. Oh, get out of there then. Come on. Ah! 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 Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Simon. Bye, Simon. We've left Simon behind. Oh. Um, Ellen, oh, Ruru 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 ten twenty nine says, Ellen, who's your favourite achievement hunter? Oh, oh, I don't know. I Good might question. have to say Gavin because he follows me on Twitter. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the uh, only reason. Yeah, that's how easy it is to get in Ellen's good graces. Um, no, I, I, it's very difficult to choose because uh, there's like a lot. It's, it's a big team now, and they're all really nice, and I know most of them. <laughs> um, but I suppose like years ago watching um, Jack and Jeff before it was kind of like let's play stuff they did guides for uh, Assassin's Creed achievements and they are kind of the reason why I decided to buy an Xbox because nice. I've been playing like PC games and online and stuff like that I was like, oh, I'll buy an Xbox and play Assassin's Creed and it's because of those two that I'm now obsessed with Assassin's Creed so uh, it's a soft, definite soft spot for Jack and Jeff Good answer Cool mm. Uh, Mike Azorio says hello from NYC, long time subscriber, first time commenter. Keep up all the great work you do and thanks for the laugh. New York, all right. Thank you. Yeah. And Mr. Dude, New shut York. up, one, two, three. The big apple. Says I have Rock. all nerdy tattoos. <laughs> Star oh, wow. Wars, Doctor Who, GOT. I also want a Jurassic Park symbol tattoo. Huh. Yeah. Be pretty good. A Game of Thrones tattoo might be good, actually. Yeah. One of the houses. That would oh, be a good tattoo. Yeah, because then it, it would Ooh, be a wolf yeah. as well. So yeah. it wouldn't have to be nerdy if you were in a cool crowd. Yeah, if you go for like Targaryen, then it's a mad dragon or something. I'd do Baratheon, except Baratheon, stag, I like the stag, it? but also the house is dreadful. So oh, yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> they're not, they're yeah, not great, yeah, are not, they? Not Baratheon. No, but I like the stag. The stag is their, their emblem. Here's which is a cool. question what? which I would pose to all of us. And also to people in the comments. Okay. Is what Game of Thrones house do you think you would be in? Ooh. Stark. Yeah. I like it. You, oh, Ellen's okay. immediately bagged Stark. <laughs> Shotgun. Classic. I'm oh, sorry. Arya is my spirit animal. <laughs> Classic Griffin to move. <laughs> can't all be house Stark. Uh, I would I would have said Stark just because I've come from the frozen north, although you wouldn't be able to touch If life. you're Targaryen. My sister's ginger. Oh. <laughs> like, okay. Really? Okay. <laughs> all right, so... There's that as well. Um, I think if you're Targaryen, you've got a 50 50 chance of, of being, being a badass or being mad. So yeah, I like, I like those odds. Every time a Targaryen's born, you yeah, flip 50 50. A coin, basically. Like 50 50, you'll be Daenerys or her mad brother Viserys. Oh, Viserys, so he was. Yeah. I would, I mean, 50 50 is not too bad. Totally. I'd like um, to say the Greyjoys because of the ocean connection, but probably the. They're Tyrells. hard people, aren't they? They are House unpleasant, Tyrell. hard yeah. people, It'd the Greyjoys. Yeah. Soft coddled. The, oh, the Tyrells soft, are so nice. The soft coddled ones. With yeah. The, yeah. Fragrant Tyrells. So yeah. Fragrant. fragrant. Ooh, it's um, Simon. Ghost Simon. Ghost <laughs> Simon. Oh, he's back. Simon. He's come to show me the way. Oh, he's Thank you, Simon. Oh. Your final act was a kind one. Go so in peace. <laughs> Uh, right, right, right. Next door. Right, right. um, Jacob McConnell and Drac Drac Draconine are both new sponsors, so oh, welcome aboard. Very very and uh, in terms of, we're getting a we're getting a Lannister here in the uh, <laughs> just just Caden says Lannister. Oh, okay. and, I guess um, it means you're loaded. So yeah, that's, lots yeah, of money. Good thing. You're good. probably yeah. a jerk though. Uh, lots of Starks. Dylan Chung ninety eight says Stark. Leon says I'd go with Stark as well. Else Super. Uh, <laughs> no, no Tyrells in the comments. No one wants to be. They're quietly like one of the most powerful families out there. Boringly mm. powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Mr. Dude, shut up. One, two, three. Back again. Says Ellen be a Tully because Catherine Stark was a ginger and also a Tully before she married. Before Actually, she became a Stark. I can see you as Tully because. Oh no, Ooh. Simon. No Simon. <laughs> Are they Simon. all called Simon now? No, this is a fake Simon. Mm -hmm. There's only one Simon, and he's dead. That one was a Derek. Oh. We, left, we left Simon, he's fine. He's a Peter James says, good thing I rushed home from work to catch the live stream. You guys are the only gaming channel I watch. Oh, well, that's very flattering. I hate Peter James hates outside Xbox. Oh. Just like oh, sure they're, they're I'm joking, together. I'm joking. Oh, uh, Ooh, I like this. Deep cut here. Um, Raph Bartholomew says, I want an Iric Byronison tattoo. Is that nerdy? That's the giant sentient polar bear from the Dark Materials yeah, trilogy. Yeah, yeah. That is a rad tattoo and you should absolutely Whoa. get it. That's 
Yeah. Is anybody in the uh, comments reading uh, the dust. new one? I'm not, I'm not reading it yet. I'm about halfway through Ooh. and it's so good. I, I love his dark materials. They're so good. It took me a few tries to get into the first one because it's a slow build. But then mm. it just oh, it went naught fifty in a really good way. It's so good. I actually went to see they did the National Theatre did a play. So you know how everyone's like, oh, the Cursed Child. It's two plays. National Theatre did that before <laughs> with Dark Materials, and it was really good. I went for the afternoon and watched like awesome. six, seven hours worth of play. That's a lot. And it was good. I hope so you brought good. crisps. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Oleg Kozura says just finished a test covering extraterrestrial life and theories about life on Mars oh, wow. wow! so it's extra cool seeing you guys wrecking it oh. <laughs> no I imagine this is yeah. extremely close to <laughs> leading thinking this is all the answers to his test right here, here. Da, 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 da. what is it what you got I got some kind of rocket the launcher? heavy assault rifle oh well, right <laughs> Although recently superseded by the plasma rifle, as UAC's... Oh, no, I accidentally deleted it. There we go. The heavy assault rifle is still in widespread use. Blah, 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 blah. It shoots stuff. Good. <laughs> We've got it. we got it. Uh, David Leonard Flanagan says, Hello from a fellow Londoner, long-time watcher of the show. My depression has been getting hard to cope with lately, and watching Oxbox and Oxtra has been helping get me through. Oh. I, yeah, well, happy to help. And, happy and to help. Stick, stick in there. You know, hang in there, buddy. Yes. Yeah, keep on keeping on. Exactly. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Patrick Long says Targaryen because my Steam screenshots set enemies on fire. Our, wow. No, our enemies set a fire. Oh right! Oh, sorry, okay. I thought that was like a rad diss. <laughs> like yeah, my yeah. screenshots are so hot, they set my enemies on fire. I it was <laughs> no. just a new feature. I think Patrick they're... Long likes burning stuff, so that, <laughs> cool. That's Targaryen, yeah. There you go. As long as you keep Makes it in sense. the game, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm being airlocked. Oh no, it's fine. I'm outside. Yay! You're in space. Oh, I've got a machine gun. Not quite in space. Get machine gunned. You, you rascal, have some of that. How do you like that? Oh, the problem with the machine gun is, I end up over, sh I'm ending up overshooting them and missing and the glory missing kill. The glory kill. Oh. I need, I need my glory kills like Popeye needs his spinach. <laughs> I mean, not quite the same. Ah, oh, this is rad. Ellen, would you like to take control back for a bit? Okay. Oh. The music started. The music, music's got all musicy. Oh, Matt O'Connor says, just sending a super chat to back up Ellen on that play. It was awesome, amazing stage effects, great performances. It oh. was, it was so good. I wonder Doctor where they are now, like the kids from it. I bet they're doing something it's cool. It's a Buzzfeed article. Yeah, here Want are the kids from... Old. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Eric Burnson. Byronison, yeah. yeah. Byronson. Oh my God, that yeah. polar bear was so cool, I'm just remembering. <laughs> oh. So armoured. They have a fight where they, one of them rips the other polar bear's jaw clean off. Wow. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. No, so cool. No, it's best kids up. books. Yeah, best kids books. How was that done on stage? Was it like, yeah. like, right. it like the Lion King where they yeah. like I'm in a hole. Get out of the I'm hole, get out of the hole. Ah, he's oh like, no, Ellen, berserk. no, no! Oh, oh, you berserked you... him good. Yes. Yeah. Now berserk that one. Yeah. Yes. Wow, yes. you punched him so hard he exploded. Yeah. Now Double punch. Now berserk. Uh, yeah. Griggles510 says, OMG, I caught your live stream. Hooray, graveyard shit. Uh, Matt O'Connor wants to know uh, what game story messed with your mind the most. What game story messed with your mind? Oh, um... Silent Hill, maybe? Yeah. Classic? Uh, yes, yeah, Silent Hill actually messes with your <laughs> mind in a kind of distressing way. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. What's like the Donnie Darko of Do you know, it's not really, it's not of, really uh, the games. story, but Portal properly messed messed up my brain just like the the physics of mm. right, the portal yeah. gun just absolutely confused me there were loads of puzzles in portal one and two where i was stuck on them for ages and and then i sort of figured it out and i was like uh, that shouldn't work mm. no nope. mind refuses to accept it <laughs> yeah good question mm. what game has broken your brain the most <laughs> Scoot yeah. Moose says, would you consider doing a full documentary style behind the scenes video of your work process? Ah. I don't... Most of it would be pretty boring. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of it's me sitting in my pyjamas until midday writing things in a Word document, which <laughs> I don't think makes for great video necessarily. Oh yeah, but you know, it could be quite interesting because I, for example, write in, in Google Docs. So there's already some tension. Fascinating, yeah. Yeah, there's some exciting drama and tension there. <laughs> mm. uh, Mike, you prefer using a PC to work, whereas... Yes. Um, we use Macs, use yeah. Macs, so... You know, 
more drama. Yeah, I know, it's such the, tension. Exactly, the seed of an exciting documentary. And I'm like, what film. would be the interesting thing to see behind the scenes? It might be us shopping for props, actually. That's oh, pretty yeah. good fun, we yeah. have to, When we have to source, yeah. like, five minutes before we film something, just a random <laughs> prop, yeah. and we have to go into go into the nearby shops and hope that yeah. they've got, I don't know, Top like a plastic skull or something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a... Um, there's a, a shop that we it's it's not a, it's not a UK chain is it uh, Tiger mm-hmm. but we have it in, mm. in the UK mm. and uh, we that, Pretty is good for props. that is our go-to for most props. If you ever need amazing. a plastic dog poop, Tiger's yeah. the place to go. Guys. Or a little trophy. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah, both of those things. <laughs> yes, Ellen. Tough Talk says I have Stitch from Leo and Stitch and the Cheshire. Nothing. I assume the Cheshire Cat. Oh, Cheshire Cat, yeah. Yeah. I love oh. yeah Stitch from Leo and Stitch is excellent. It's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bubonic Zombie says, "Hey guys, you're all so adorable, hot." Oh, thank you. It's very kind. Ooh. Scott Patterson says, "I have a Game of Thrones tattoo mm-hmm. and Dark Souls sleeves. Oh, Do I sweet. win?" Whoa. Tweet us a picture of your Dark Souls sleeves, please. Yeah, oh, man. like please. a full sleeve. I, I want to see like that. The the sun yeah, thing, yeah. Oh, I just, oh, there's so a lot rad. of good imagery actually in that game. Yeah, there's yeah, tons of so good much. stuff in there. Mm. So much. Yeah, the bonfires and all so sorts. So in a word, you do win, Scott. Yeah. So, yes. That's incredible. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, How are we doing, Ellen? Josh Pierini says, Finally caught a live stream from outside Extra. We wanted to show my support to you guys. Thanks for the hours I've quite happily wasted watching your videos and finally finding someone who appreciates Kingdoms of Amalur. Oh, don't Yay! get her started. Please don't. <laughs> oh, I would say we found too many people now who appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should start a group, like a yeah. support group. A support group. Or, yeah. Get in touch if you didn't like Kingdoms of Amalur. Yeah. <laughs> Scottish one wants no, to know what one. game would you like to see revived from the 90s? Oh wow! From the ni- oh, what a- oh. I don't know if it's from the nineties, but I will start us off by saying um, the guy who directed Moon, Duncan Jones, yeah, um, was Big chatting about fan. a game called Interstate seventy six, uh, which was like a seventies muscle car Mad Max type thing. Who made yes. it? Uh, it was an Activision oh, uh, okay. game, uh. and uh, he was saying he wanted them to remake that, uh, and I would absolutely agree with him so I would like to see Interstate 76 remade what's crazy is if I think about all the games that were my absolute favourites in the 90s almost all of them are still going really like they're like there aren't very many I'm trying to think of, of games that have been abandoned like uh, oh um, I played a lot of the first Road Rash do you remember that oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 there was two rash. of those I think yeah, I two think or three so. yeah I think so. yeah. I don't know if they were all in the 90s but, yeah I think uh, they were they must have been mm. yeah oh I'd really like to see another Discworld point and click adventure yeah. like, there's been a lot of uh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a big yeah. revival of like LucasArts <laughs> stuff like remasters of Full Throttle and things like that and but the Discworld g- games were really fun they so. were yeah, really fun. funny as well mm. like just oh Speaking of LucasArts, how about those um, the 2D uh, Star Wars games? Oh! You know, the side-scrolling... Oh, G- yeah, 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 Super Star Wars, Super Return of the Jedi, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, mm. they were rock hard, those Yeah, games. they were really, really, really enjoyable. Do people want 2D platforms? Well, it'd be like On Cuphead. A phone, maybe? Like yeah, oh, yeah, Cuphead. maybe like a glorious Cuphead-type game. Yeah. They made an Indiana Jones trilogy one, which was basically the same format. It's really good, on the SNES and Mega Drive. Really? Yeah, the Indiana oh, Jones trilogy game was so good. Oh. So good. Was that rock hard as well? Uh, yes, yeah, extremely difficult. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, the Plankfish asks, are you staying at Loading Bar for Marioki later? We'll miss Andy's voice, but it'll still be fun. Actually, we're off. Uh, we're doing a pub quiz. Yeah, we yeah, are we doing are a pub quiz. We're off to, yeah. But Marioki at Loading Excel. Bar is a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I know yeah. the guys who run it, and it's very, very clever. It's what basically is it? uh, regular pop songs that you would sing at karaoke, but all the lyrics have been changed to be about video games. Give and, us an example. Um, gosh. Uh, there's one about... Um, it's not well. I suppose it's sort of video gamey, but there's one that's uh, Natalie and Brulier's torn. Yeah. yeah. But it's about the guy who dressed in the Tron outfit. You know, Tron guy. Yeah. Like the cosplay. So it's like nothing's, nothing's right. right. I'm, I'm Tron. Tron. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly. It's about him turning up to in cosplay and everyone hating his costume. Aww. It's pretty funny. So that's a fun one. So see. it's like games and memes and karaoke. Yeah, all that kind of Geek stuff. Culture. So it's really fun. Yeah. It happens at Loading Bar. I think every month, maybe. Uh, yeah, once, once a month. month. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's well worth coming along to. Really good fun to sing along. Ooh. And it's a really good, supportive crowd. So if, like me, you, you're not like the best at singing, uh, it, the crowd will still be behind you. Yeah. yeah. Scott Patterson keeps on getting more and more hardcore. Oh, and the Witcher school badges on my throat. So like Witcher? Crikey. I, I don't oh, know if yeah. he means like the wolf, you know, the wolf's head? Yeah, I, I'm imagining. Well, yeah, s- yeah, school, yeah. School, school badges, maybe there's a multiple Yeah, ones. but anyway, that's Again, like, tweet us images. Yeah. Send them over to at yep. Outside Xbox. Sam L says, finally managed to catch a stream of my favourite channel and I'd like to know your guys' favourite musicals. I think oh, this is a plant. My because Luke word. loves nothing more than talking about God, favourite 
musical. You can go first. I am only sad that we didn't get asked this question at the top. Of the <laughs> <laughs> now there's so little time left. A whole 90 minutes to it. Uh, my favourite musical is uh, Les Mis. Of Les course. Rob. Can you hear the, the people, people sing? sing. <laughs> Singing the Song of Angry Men. Uh, yeah, I'm the Song of Angry Men is like Slipknot, surely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, They're very that's, angry men. That's, that's one of the songs in Les Mis. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> My favourite is Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, that's Which I just think oh, is the so absolute good. best. Mainly brilliant. because of the dentist, who is a brilliant, a brilliant character. Dentist. <laughs> Suddenly, Seymour. Suddenly Seymour's a great song yeah. as well. What a tune. What a tune. <laughs> oh, Little <laughs> Shop of Horrors, man. <laughs> oh, great. <clears throat> so I good. saw a lo- lovely lady who's in a lot of stuff. Uh, she was in Two Wives of Love and a Pack of Crisps. Oh, um, uh, Sheridan Smith? Sheridan Smith. Oh, yeah, she's brilliant. I saw her in Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, oh. Nice. I wept like a child when oh. she sang Somewhere That's Green. Oh. Oh. oh, man. Do you know what? Speaking of Sheridan Smith and musicals, I'll tell you what is a musical that is way better than you'd think. Yeah. Legally Blonde. Yeah, Legally Blonde. What? That's <laughs> yeah. so good. How are you blonde. on the same wavelength for that? It's because she was in it. All right. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Come on, Mike. Keep okay. Um... Yeah, the Legally Blonde musical, su- su- really surprisingly great. The the opening number, um, oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, god oh my god, god, you, god you guys. guys. <laughs> just, just, just look that up, it's impossible. Wow. Really good. Yeah. Um, I'm also a big fan of uh, uh, like those edgy musicals, like um, Avenue Q and Book of Mormon. Avenue Q. Like oh, Book of Mormon's great, yeah. Uh, what about film? Like, you know, there are those... Uh, it, stop me, by oh. the way, if there's loads of other comments that hey. we should be getting to. I mean, yeah, but uh, we'll get to those eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Singing in the Rain is one of the yeah, great yeah, musical... Yeah. Unbelievably oh. good. I recently got really into Calamity Jane. Right. Um, and, uh, oh, but I, I really like those those uh, like jukebox musical films, like um, Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. Mm. A lot of time for that. Makes me mm. so happy. I think, the, I think the film of Chicago is not too bad. Ch- Chicago... That film is probably the reason why Les Mis and stuff was made because they suddenly were able to make good musical films mm. again. Because for a long time, it was all a bit, you know, uh, not great, you know, not sure. But that came out, and then everyone was like, yes. Mm. Yeah, but then we got Mamma Mia, which is a Hang bad on. film. Hang on, true. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love Abba, but Mamma Mia is a bad film. Uh, no! Sorry, Look, Ooh, even Doom the Doom guy, guy hates oh. shattered legs. Doom guy was like, Mamma Mia, no, I'm out. <laughs> no, <laughs> Here I go Mama again. Me. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that we've finished listing yes. musicals we know, which I don't think was the question. Um, well, you answered it as well. Caitlin, 1998. Ladies, show of shows. M says, I intend to get a tattoo of a quote from Isabella from Dragon Age 2. They don't know me, I know me. Oh, Whatever no, you think right. of Isabella, I find that super deep. I like the idea of quotes. <laughs> Like yeah, a character yeah. quote, maybe, yes, rather than yeah, a, an image from a game? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so let nice us know what game quote you would... Yeah, in a nice, in a nice script, longhand. Font. Yeah, mm. lovely. It's to Danny Boy, is working on his working laptop to say uh, he's writing a comic, heavily inspired by your comedy style. Of course, there will be references to all five of you. Not sure if that's a good thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Crikey. That's amazing. Comic appearance, yes. that would be pretty cool. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, making a comic is insanely hard work and takes a very long time, so absolutely incredible work for sticking with that and and stuff massive respect i think writing a comic is one of those things that uh, a lot of geeky people kind of would love to do would love to do mm. but the it, you know it's like writing a novel like the patience required is mm. just is just insane so i have i have so much respect for anyone who who puts in those hours oh belated follow up quote from chris shukis sorry comment not quote says favorite musical labyrinth That's left field Counts. but does count yeah, it does, does count. count couple of songs what's in that, there what's that you amazing remind song? me the babe yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, what the babe? One. The babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Who do you do? You do what? Remind me of the babe. I saw my baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> off. Old, yeah. She's off. <laughs> is, is, that, is that the one that, that David Bowie sings about? Sort of three quarters of the way through, and it's like it's in the big like white room. No. There's, a song, I, there's a song that was also really, I think, released as a single. Yeah. It has baby in in, in, oh. in the title. Mm. I think. Oh gosh. People in the chat, let me know what thing Ooh. I've possibly <laughs> <laughs> anticipate my uh, Antici- intentions. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Talking of follow-up comments, Megatron from the welding class says, "You guys just gave me an idea for my final project. You will be remembered in the times to come." Oh God, Megatron's building an it's extra Megatron. It's gonna hunt Megatron. you down. <laughs> it's Megatron. I will remember. Can you get over to there? No. Is this how we died last time? Yeah. This oh no, is me we've got lost. To, me trying to oh get yeah, around. I don't think that, that looks a bit far. Can you I'll go? I'll try. I'll try. Okay. Should... <laughs> no, no, give it a go. Give it a go. Doom guy fly. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh! 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 <laughs> Final. <laughs> yeah, we made it halfway down. I'd have loved for us to get stuck halfway down a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Doom Guy reacted there. He was like, falling, falling. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, Doom Guy. Oh, Incredible Dr. Horrible sing-along blog is an underrated musical. Do you remember that? The Joss yeah, Whedon yeah. web-based musical. That was amazing. Mm. There was a Neil really Patrick great Harris song. It, Neil right? Patrick Harris, Felicia Day. It had this amazing song about stopping time and they sang it in a laundrette. Right. It was magical and wow. I'd forgotten all about it until just now. So thank you very much, Stephen Bills, for the reminder. Mm. I'm, I'm going to go home and watch that this <laughs> evening. Yeah. It was lovely. I went to for the Buffy 20th anniversary. They had... Uh, a screaming of once more with feelings. Ah, yeah. Mm. yeah, that was really oh, fun. Oh, nice. More shows should have a musical episode where magic yeah, happens, absolutely. so everyone Every has show. to sing. I've been yeah. saying this for a while. We should have a musical episode. <gasps> oh gosh, that sounds like a, a lot of work, but I'd be up for it. Oh, maybe for your million, for, for million subscribers, for you guys, could you do a music all musical show of the week? Yes. And that yeah, would be amazing. one million subscribers. Yeah, proper massive song and dance. Yeah. Um, chorus line twirling. yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. definitely Completely pyrotechnics ATT. I would love that that would be so good mm. that would be a lot of fun uh, time to start writing uh, uh, oh here. here we go down uh, there we I go I was overthinking it <laughs> we got it I was so we were overthinking it, it. Ah, monsters <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so tough <laughs> shoot them mash them shoot them and mash them rip and tear tear and share sharing is caring <laughs> he's got a shield how does he have a shield he doesn't even have like a brain Horrible Hellion. It's him. It's him. Uh, Dylan Baker uh, says, you guys are the best. So glad I caught you guys live. Keep doing what you do. Uh, Argentum Inc. wants to know uh, they need to buy a present for a friend. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, no. Luke's in shock. What? So Ellen... <laughs> I looked away from the screen. Ellen was struggling with this one enemy who had a yeah. shield, and yeah. then all of a sudden she just wasn't struggling. <laughs> oh. There was a chainsaw. Wow. <laughs> wow. It was super Take hard. my eyes off Ellen for one minute. <laughs> uh, our gentleman Sorry. wants to know Wolfenstein 2 or AC Origins. Ooh. Oh man, good question. Um, Let's have a vote. I would uh, go Wolfenstein 2. Okay. I would say Wolfenstein 2, if you can if you can afford both, Wolfenstein you'll get out of the way quite mm. quickly. And then Assassin's Creed Origins will be a good Christmas game. I think Assassin's Creed I makes good Assassin's Christmas Creed games is gonna be over the break. something that I'm playing a lot over Christmas mm -hmm. as well. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I think so many good games came out. If it has today. to be just one though. Yeah, if tricky. it has to be just one. This I, is a, as guess... a gift as well. Oh, oh gift, yeah, gift. sorry, I well, immediately forgot. AC Origins is probably AC like... AC Origins is a bigger game, so yeah. in terms of like value for money, you'll probably play it for longer. But that said, if you're buying it for a friend and it's a gift and you're going to be like discussing the story, there is a lot of story in Wolfenstein, mm. so, right? Mm. So it's probably better for maybe like down the pub analysis or, you know. Yeah, yeah. Wherever you like to hang out. Uh, Rurone1029 wants to know if you could have someone narrate your life, who would it be? Richard Burton. Richard Burton for <laughs> Luke? Yeah. Yeah. Ron, Ron Howard. Ron Howard? <laughs> You're like Eddie an episode. Yeah. Eddie Izzard. I will go for Charles Dance. Ooh. Oh, good choice. Woo! Tywin Lannister. Oh. All right, yes, Mr. please. Nimble. Nimble <laughs> Does a little forward roll. Yeah. Where's your forward roll now? I thought I was in a cutscene in the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought I was in a cutscene. <laughs> Demons oh. just. The demons have learned to tumble. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one thing we didn't want to happen. Uh, Fourth Horseman says, From the Highlands, what is Loading Bar I hear of? Loading Bar is a bar in London. Uh, there's a few of them actually around. There's one in Dalston, one in Stratford in London. There's a new one that's just opened in Brighton. Mm. Uh, all of these places are very, very far away from the Highlands. Yeah. So I'm terribly sorry about that. But, but it's if well you're worth ever the, in the trip area, if you're ever yeah, yeah. You in London or They're right game themed, so that's like tabletop games, video games. Any There's, kind of game, pretty yeah. much, that you could think of. Yeah, and the shelves cheap. are absolutely stacked with Charged board games. games so you could come in and have a drink and, and play machines. any number of yeah, games. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, uh, random username for Chris. Hello again. Hey. Uh, says, if you could make a game series yourselves, what would it be? Oh, uh, a game series ourselves. So mm. is that like with an established intellectual property? I wonder. I guess so, yeah. Uh, the game that I uh, I think I would have a really fun time making myself uh, would be a new F-Zero game. Oh, nice. Because there totally should be one. I was playing a bunch of F-Zero for a list we made uh, recently. Uh, we published it actually uh, this week, but it's about mm. sports that you totally watch. Mm. And I was just thinking more and more about F-Zero and what a rad series that is and how desperately it needs another game in the installment mm. and the reason it'll be fun to make 
da, 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 is because you could write all the backstories for the races. Yeah. Because they all have these incredibly convoluted, like, soap opera oh. Who was that one you were telling me about? The, there's a really amazing one. Oh, they're all really amazing. Uh, I mean, like, Captain Falcon's blood was stolen. Right. And yeah. um, he was... And that's... Blood Falcon is, is the resulting clone. Wow. Of the evil Captain Falcon. That's so it's, cool. It's like pro wrestling, except instead of a wrestling match, there's then, like, a high-octane... Hover race, race of, thing. Race above the city. Perfect. It's so cool. Yeah, so I, I would like there to be more F-Zero in the world. I think. Cool. Uh, Sean McCurl says, Simply put, tattoo idea... And then write space, but the way Tim Curry says space, so it'd have to be <laughs> lots of space. large capital yeah. letters. Yeah. And, and a few Y's in there, maybe. Yeah. And yeah. maybe Tim and Curry's yeah, face yeah. underneath it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And possibly, maybe, like, in a Cyrillic font. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, with, like, some back-to-front letters, so it's, like, yeah. faux Russian yeah, looking. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Faux, faux Russian, accents. yeah. 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 Uh, Carl Croft says, what do you guys think about a You Laugh, You Lose joke challenge video? What is that? Oh, I think you tell each other jokes and the oh. first person to laugh loses. I mean... I think, yeah, it would be a bit of a slam dunk then. for yeah. Luke on that one. <laughs> Bearing in mind I watched Ellen completely lose it earlier this week. <laughs> because of... She's Pic just remembered. Yeah, I saw the picture. A, a dog she saw on the internet. Yeah. And she showed me the... the yeah, that's what the dog is like. <laughs> seen the image. The annotation <laughs> is like <laughs> Netflix... Are you still there? <laughs> and then me, me. colon, and, and it's the dog, dog really. just crawling across the floor. It is absolutely, uh, I, I really, really enjoyed that image. <laughs> I certainly laughed. <laughs> Ellen, Ellen, do you remember how the dog looked? <laughs> Ellen was nearly hospitalised. <laughs> yeah, close your eyes and picture that dog. I'll, I'll take the controller. <laughs> if, you ever, if you're playing with Ellen and you need to get the controller. Yeah. Ellen, do you remember that dog? I saw one time. <laughs> She's gone. She's gone. Doom's because, all yours, Luke. Because Ellen re remembered a dog she saw on the internet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is a big moment in the game, Ellen, so I want us to do the, the big job of time. I want the... Hand acting. What happened there? We got a bunch of hell energy in us. Okay. We're going to be talking more about hell energy on tomorrow's show of the weekend. Got a pretty fun quiz, actually. Yes. About hell energy. Hell energy yeah. features quite prominently. Oh yeah, and if you're if you're sticking around, if you're still in the live stream, we're about to publish a show of the week. Yes. As soon yeah. as as soon as we're done here, we're off to publish show of the week. So you can just you Keep can watching. Yeah, if you've been watching since two o'clock, just never stop watching. Our <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, aim is to make it so you never have yeah. to leave. Twenty four hour yeah. content. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get away. Let's we'll like, not promise that. We'll do like two minute breaks for the bathroom and stuff. Sure, if you must, <laughs> sandwiches or whatever. Uh, Dracoin says, Amalur wasn't that great. Don't kill me, Ellen. <gasps> coming for you. They're coming for you. I I never, I've never said that it's the best game of all time. I've said it, like, said. jokingly. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. It's, it's my favourite underrated game. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's not perfect. Like, when I first talked about it on Show of the Weekend, I'm, like, sitting there going... It's a little bit obtuse in some areas, and like sometimes the the accents in it are really weird. Like, is a Scottish accent, and I'm like, oh where? Where in Scotland? Where in where in Ireland is Scotland? You know, um, like, but yeah, it's it's you know it's not for everyone. Like, if you don't like RPGs, you won't like it. <laughs> basically. What do you reckon, Samuel Hayden, who's doing this extremely long and boring uh, cutscene? Yeah. I could be ripping and tearing and tearing and tearing. Yeah. What do you think he thinks of me? Because I've just been running. Is he not? Pre is it a pre-recorded message, or is he talking to you live? I don't know. I've not been paying attention. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. I'm trying to. But he's trying to explain. Here's why we were harvesting hell energy, and why we thought it would be for the betterment of humankind. Or I'm I don't just going to spin around in a yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> just do a massive full body eye roll at him. Yeah. So here we like, go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely, nicely, nicely capped off with the shotgun. Full body eye roll. Here we go, we're going to do another one at the next demon we see. Oh. All right, demon. Who's going to get eye rolled? Who is it? Oh. Come on. Open. Oh, man. Where are the demons? Oh, uh, you won. I won, Doom. Hooray. Uh, it's Sadani Boy says, My brothers didn't like Kingdoms of Amalur. I've disowned them. Uh, <laughs> Overhero wants to know, What is the piece of equipment you spent an ungodly amount of time getting? 
Uh, oh, in a, like in, in a, game. a game. I assume. Oh, uh, not like I your know. TV at home. Um, I I purchased the most expensive item in World of Warcraft <gasps> at Whoa. the time. What was um, it? It was the Traveler's Tundra Mammoth. Oh, yeah. yeah so fancy it, mount. Yeah, it was. A, it was a fancy mount. I guess it was. Te- it was technically an item because yeah, it was like a mount yeah. that you could buy. Yeah. You bought it from the um, Mages of Dalaran. And as I recall, you mm. could probably get it. You probably get it when you start World of Warcraft. Yeah. now. they're lying them, around yeah, on the floor now. Probably given a bag of twenty of them. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it, I think it costs something like uh, thirty thousand gold. It was the most expensive item in the game. You could lower the price by being exalted with a number of other factions. Oh. So that's what I did. I had to grind. Reputation, reputation. grind. I, it was it was bolts of cloth. Just bolts of cloth, uh, take the bolts of uh, cloth uh, to yeah to get exalted, and then that dropped the price down to like sixteen grand or something. Gee. And then, but but I did it. It was like it was a it was a couple of months long grind every day doing my dailies. But yeah, that was easily the longest thing. I was gonna say Assassin's Creed um, auditory cape because that's what you get for collecting all one hundred feathers. Oh yeah, that's. But do you think it's full rune trimmed armor in RuneScape? Oh <laughs> my gosh, that's like that's takes years to get enough like level and money yeah. i don't know anything yeah, about runescape yeah. but i assume that is a massively cool brag among mm-hmm. among runescape players yeah, <laughs> as cool as well. any runescape yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's really cool blue armor with right well the warcraft mammoth <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have to remember that when you're playing world of warcraft uh, the runescape players are the, are the, the enemy are the nerds all oh, right okay <laughs> I just throw their backpack on <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nick Dumont's favourite musical is New Producers, if you got it, flaunt it. Producers oh, is a great yeah. musical. Oh, yeah. So good, Love yeah. the producers. Everybody's getting blown up by me. That's not a song <laughs> from the producers. Smash. Oh, I was going to do a full body eye roll at a demon. But I've smashed them all. I've ripped and teared and teared and shared and care and bared them. <laughs> uh, commenter tight no sorry tate probably washburn tate washburn says love watching you guys all the way from utah my question is what superhero would be really fun or interesting to have in a com- uh, sorry, having a video game for mechanics or personality not superman that's for sure because well, he doesn't have any personality quite. and he's basically invincible so what, like a superhero superhero that you'd put in a video game um... that would be interesting or fun because of their powers or their personality. Good question. Well, but one that hasn't been. Or one that hasn't been. Yeah. Hasn't. I mean, I, yeah. I've told you guys about my idea for a, a superpower with the plants. Oh. Um, and that would make a great. Luke video. wants to <laughs> have his original superhero idea be a video game. <laughs> it's a good idea. All right. Okay. Sum it up in like a sentence. Yeah. Uh, easy. <laughs> okay. Imagine if you could gain massive nutritional value from any plant life as a human <laughs> and if all plants were delicious and they all tasted of different brilliant delicious things okay now imagine that in a survival horror game you could eat anything it would be great i mean anything as long as it's a plant yeah but there are loads of plants everywhere what if it's a survival horror game on mars for example where there are no plants bring plants imagine you'd be much. stuffed in There's this situation there's got to be a research lab here somewhere full, yeah. of, full of plants. Yeah. Just imagine if in your day-to-day life you could be walking along and just pull a few leaves off the tree and chow down. You save so much money on food and it would taste delicious. I think it's a good superpower. I'm glad that Andy's not here, actually. He's, he he's, really he's, hates it. He hates it so much. It Stop, really, <laughs> Stop pitching plant nutrition boy. It. It's possibly because I mention it too often. I'll shut up about it now. Oh. It's a good idea, though. Caitlin, 1990 AM. Back again in the comments says, guys, what is a game you know is kind of rubbish, but you love it anyway? Oh, what a really good like, question. Like, worst best game. Oh, a game that is kind of rubbish. Like but... a B-movie, but a game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Uh, B-movies that are games, there's a yeah. new Earth Defense Force game oh, coming yeah, out. Oh, yeah. Which nice. is basically... Oh, the one with the giant bugs. Yeah, it's ED, the one with the giant yeah. bugs. It's ED, Ellen's ED, nightmare yeah. game, basically. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, man. Well, the He's... thing is, I saw it and went, oh, that looks quite funny. And then I saw, watched someone do a Let's Play of it, and then suddenly spiders Yeah. Happened. Yeah, suddenly like, spiders do no, happen. They're not insects. <laughs> I got really mad. Anyway, if you can get beyond the horrible bugs um, and those spiders, games are uh, they're hilarious, those games. That's I really cool. liked, um, oh gosh, uh, oh, sit, um, oh, oh god, that's really unuseful. Um, <laughs> come back to me, come back to me. What's I've it about? It. Uh, it's you've got E99, Katorga. Oh, Singularity. Uh, Singularity! It yeah. had so much, like, 
kind of nonsense sci-fi. Yeah. It was fun. It was sort of yeah, like a it, popcorn it basically, game. The thing about Singularity was it, w- it didn't have a single original idea, but it borrowed ideas from a lot of really good games yeah. like sort of Portal and uh, Half Life and things like that. Mm. So it was sort of it was I wouldn't say more than the sum of its parts, but it was equal to the sum of its parts, which yeah. were all stolen all from good much parts. better games. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. I feel like that that sort of thing that you get in movies about so bad it's good doesn't tend to apply to games. Not as much, often. no. Because if a game is bad. a game can be kind of yeah. so. For example, yeah. something that sprung to mind was like maybe Saints Row Three, mm. which is like I loved and played it to death. Oh, demons! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but who I, demons? I would, I would be the first to admit mm. it's not a particularly <laughs> oh. sophisticated no. game. Oh, yeah. you guy. I mean, Saints Row 2 is even less sophisticated and is yeah. is brilliant fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other one that sprung to mind when you were saying that was uh, Two Worlds, which is like rubbish Oblivion. It's yeah. amazing. Two Worlds yeah. and Two Worlds 2 are both mm. like as ambitious as mm. Oblivion and Skyrim, yeah. but just... That bit worse. Speaking of bad accents, Alan, like oh. does, doesn't two worlds? Oh, have... Well, so two worlds. The thing about two worlds is that it's not so much the accent; it's that everyone speaks in like this cod medieval style. So it's all forsooth, mayhap, you will help me in my oh, quest to gosh. find this. And it's absolutely brilliant. And then in the second one, they made a joke of it, so they gave everyone normal dialogue in the second one, apart from one person who's still like forsooth, mayhap, blah blah blah, and and your response is like. Do you have some kind of head injury? Or, like, what's wrong with you? Um, so yeah, it's uh, they're they're utterly rubbish, but kind of entertaining and probably quite affordable on uh, Steam or Xbox 360, which they both appeared on as well. Good shout, good shout. Oh, um, you know, not all of the Ace Attorney games they are of varying quality, but I I've, I've played them all and I absolutely love them. Mm. Um, some some of them are like genuinely unquestionably great games. Not all of them, but I have played all of them. Oh, glory kill on the big guy. Yes, where's your face now, you big horrible monster? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, there's loads um, of demons, I Ellen. I remember playing with my sister a SimCity style game, but it was based in ancient Greece. Oh! And it was Zeus, wow. Gods of Olympus. And we had it on PC, and I want it back again. Like, it was kind of like a. Uh, you had to. It was like SimCity, but you had to make your town cool enough to have, like, Hercules come and stay with oh, you. Oh, it had myth- mythological stuff. Yeah, oh, because, amazing. like, a Hydra would appear in the corner of the map, and oh. you'd have to then, like, oh, be like, okay, we have to make our town nice enough for Hercules to come here and live here so he can protect us. Um, That's brilliant. And, yeah, it's just one of these, like, games that... I don't know whether they've made any other stuff. I have no idea who the developer was, but I want to look it up. And like, it was so good. Do you know? Bit, yeah. Um, I would be interested to know if anyone in the chat remembers this. Mike, I think you've probably got the best bet. Do you yeah. remember a, a a game in the nineties called Big Red Racing? Yes. You do. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. I thought I was the only person in the world who who had played. I that think game. it was a spin-off from a game called Big Red Adventure. Really? Um, I, I, I know nothing more about it. Which it, was a, yeah, it was a sort of point-and-click game in set in Russia, and then Big Red Racing. Big Red Racing was, was a, a 3D game. racing game. Yeah, and it was totally. Oh, maybe racing. they weren't related. Anyway, they're both called Big Red. But yeah, yeah, they um, yeah, it was a sort of PC Mario Kart esque, but 3D sort of thing. Yeah. It had really crazy physics. Very enjoyable. Yeah, that was a good game. Ah, thanks, Ellen. Oh no! Demons! Surprisingly, this room is full of demons. Now it's full of one less. Punchy, punchy, punchy. Okay, so those of you who've been sticking with the stream for a little bit, Scott Patterson was telling us about uh, his Witcher and Dark Souls tattoos. He sent us some photos. He tweeted us those photos. Oh, really? Um, We can show them now. Oh, we can see them here on the monster. Oh, they are God. intense. That is like so the, look at that throat the Witcher tattoo. like wolf thing has all the blood on it as well. That, that is, is that, that is, is really, powerful stuff. That is that is an intense tattoo. That looks uncomfortable to get <laughs> yeah. to yeah, have put I hope on. It wasn't you. too painful. Oh, how cool! Sorry, I, I should be focusing on the demons squashing. If you want to use your chainsaw, by the way, you press Y. I always press <laughs> my chainsaw. Really. I like that Caitlin RC says, watching these streams makes me really want to play Stardew Valley to calm down, <laughs> which is basically the opposite of Doom. Yeah, it like is the pretty exact much the opposite, inverse of Doom as a game. Oh, I did you know. know they're adding co-op multiplayer to Stardew Valley? <gasps> 
Oh, we can all farm yeah, together. Yeah, we can farm together. Oh. Uh, apparently, progress is good on that mm. co-op multiplayer stuff. The thing about um, yeah, get smashed. Sorry. The thing uh, um, that's about Stardew Valley though is I wouldn't be no. genuinely wouldn't be surprised yeah. if halfway through it turned into doom. <laughs> <laughs> when you it's, descend to like the hundredth level yeah, of the yeah. mines, Your farmer it's just, just goes Mars, to hell, hell Mars. Yeah. <laughs> Um, guys, we need to wrap up. Oh, what? Shortly. Oh, gosh. It's, oh, it's, it's time. time. It's that time already. Yeah. Okay, time any, flies. Any final shout outs to give? Or are uh, we Mm -hmm. Lots, lots and lots and lots of people. In fact, uh, sorry if we haven't managed to get to your comment. There's yeah. been tons. Thank you so much for sending them all. Thank you, everyone uh, really who's appreciate been in the chat. It. Thank you so much. Um, what have we got? Uh, if all of you could cross over two of your favourite games, what would they be and why? <gasps> oh, man. Uh, how about um, Zelda and Doom? Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surely not. Surely not. <laughs> cool. Oh, um, I'd need time to think about that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. Man, some of these questions we get asked are like, yeah, yeah such incredibly good questions. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, I'm you're paying like, Doom, I can't <laughs> even think. I can't even no. think properly. It makes you feel guilty because you can't think of like a... This is pretty cool. Leon Snigowski says, love you guys, can't wait for the next stream. Back to designing airports for me. Oh, I remember wow. Leon. Wow. He mentioned that before, oh that he's like an, an airport designer. architect or something, yeah. yeah. That is awesome. I hope oh, you designed some good ones. Yeah. I can, think, I can think of some really great airports and also I can think of some, some really, really bad ones. Bad My pro tip would be to make sure there's adequate stuff beyond security because it's the worst oh, thing yeah. in the world. Yeah. You get to an airport <laughs> and you rush through security and then you're like, well, I've got an hour and a half to kill and there's like nothing here. As long as you don't design Tegel Airport in Berlin, the worst airport. Is that oh. the worst one? You're right. The worst thing about it's Berlin airports is there's a load of them and they're all like split up everywhere. I know, but like Tegel's like the main one. We don't have time to get into yep, this. No, Berlin, Berlin airport, airport design. <laughs> yes. um, Still. Oh, before we go, Logan Knapp or Knapp is your new sponsor, possibly the last sponsor of the stream. Oh, wow, well, thank you very much. So say hi to Logan. That's really generous. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we should probably wrap up there. Let's but... wrap this up. Why don't we chainsaw one more demon? Go on, okay. man. And Treat then yourself. Chainsaw one more demon and... I mean, we've got to break up that one down there, that big thing. Oh, yeah, okay. Really cool little eye thing and yeah. and can you give us an inspiring message for the weekend and chainsaw a demon? Okay. Um, right. <laughs> uh, inspiring message. <laughs> that your weekends be rewarding and enjoyable and may all your metaphorical demons get chainsawed. Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget to watch show for weekend. Like this one. Week. Oh no, oh, it's too much, it's too much. It's unpleasant, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, no. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Just the sound of demons in the nah, background. Nah, what show of the weekend? <laughs> <laughs>